Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast and this is for July 15th until 22nd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way this week. going to be a very busy bee this week trying to prove yourself and will also be trying to work on your goals you're going to be cutting off some people or not really cutting people off but you're going to be a little bit unavailable this week for socialization all right oops sorry Looking back into the past, recalculating your goals, and it's like, what are the things that have already took place, about to take place, and supposed to take place? Okay, so you're going to be like reflecting this week about your targets and goals, and what are the things that you need to change when it comes to your work and finances. You are also going to be opting for a loan for those cancers who is in business. A bit of a vanity when it comes to your health. And I feel like be careful with animal bites or insect bites. <clears throat> or insect that will come from the animals. Okay. Also be careful with the slippery places. Or passing through an alley that is very slippery. You might break your ankle or hurt your ankle. Hmm, trying to find a strength to refuse. Somebody has been offering you love and who is a little bit obsessed over you. Codependency, true love, passion. Well, you hate the fact of relying on somebody, but it's like, it's something that you cannot really, you know, avoid. Chariot, seven of Gabriel, nine of Ariel. All right, now you will be very, very busy this week working on your goals and working on you know the things that you want to achieve in life. And I feel like it will definitely pay off this week because definitely you're going to be getting very good news, something that you've been waiting for, something more likely it's a contract that you've been waiting for for your client to sign to agree and to you know close the deal or um, make the final offer or for them to agree okay whatever that's stipulated in the contract and this is a big money for you you're gonna be very happy because it's gonna save you up from a lot of troubles of course you know and um, I feel like you will be Recalling all the things that you're supposed to do, what has been done in the past, and what needs to change in order for the shift to come in, for the change of energy to manifest, and for all those good things to start coming in. Because it's actually there, right outside your door, but it's like there is a different energy that's been blocking you from receiving it. So the good luck or the opportunities, the good opportunities, it's just right outside your door and it's already creating a traffic. So once you remove that block, whatever it is, which is I feel like it's coming from a relationship or coming from some personal blockage, okay? Once you're able to remove that blockage, then all of this opportunities that's waiting outside your door will start coming in. And I feel like you just need to brace yourself for all the positive changes that's going to be coming your way, which is good for you. Now... About your careers and finances, if you're in a business right now and you're thinking about taking a loan, 
um, I feel like try to think long and hard about it. Uh, I don't feel like you need it as in like an emergency need right now. But I feel like try to look into a different solution. Because first off, I don't feel like you're going to get granted. Or even if you're going to get granted, you're going to get tied up with it for a long period of time. It's not really, you know, the right time for that. So try to look for an alternative. Try to look for a different solution. Now, as far as your work is concerned, I feel like you are in a company or situation that you've been looking for a shift, an improvement, or promotion. But unfortunately, it hasn't really come yet. And you're starting to grow impatient. And you're also getting bored with all the things that you've been repetitively doing. Try to extend your patience a little bit. This is not really the right time for you to resign. Now, vanity. You will be improving and changing some of your aura or some of the some of your like for example hair um your eyebrows as well and you will start uh wearing contacts plus i feel like you're going to be very conscious of your skin not to mention that you've been growing acne for the past few weeks or months and I feel like this time you're going to be paying more attention to yourself and loving yourself. Be careful with animal bites, wild animals, or mingling with any animals, or a stray animal. Or like a dog that will just go wild. Okay, be very careful about that. And uh, as I've said, be careful in slippery places or places that are always wet. Because it might just break off your ankle or hurt your feet or, or knees. Aside from that, I feel like you also need to minimize, okay, your house or your closet, give away those that you no longer need or those that you don't, you know, that doesn't really fit you anymore. It will give you good karma or you're going to be getting good karma from it, from being charitable. Now, you are refusing or blocking somebody that's been trying to offer their love to you and you are, as I've said, you're, you're going to be cutting off some people connections this week and i feel like this person has been trying to woo you for the past few weeks and i feel like even though that there is an attraction between you and this person it's like this is not your main goal this is not what you really need and want right now you are fully concentrated on your finances and creating a solution to your problem okay so i feel like you're gonna be acting a little bit cruel towards this person especially if you are dealing with an earth sign only you have the key but this person will be very offended or will get hurt this time and i feel like you'll continuously improve yourself despite of hurting somebody well i'm not saying that you're going to be a very cruel person but what i'm trying to say is that this person will, will really show you and prove to you that they are so into you and that they are really um dedicated in making you see their intention okay now in your romancing your cards there's codependency it's not that you're codependent on somebody but it's more likely that you're afraid of codependency for, especially for singles okay you're afraid of codependency but this person around you is already your true love or you are the true love of this person so just try and celebrate your love or try to you know consider the connection that you have for each other for married couples or for those who's already in a relationship there's too much codependency even though this is where your heart really belongs okay and I feel like you will try to control things on your own to the extent that it will just create more aggravation and more confusion between the two of you in your uh, marriage life. Okay, so stop the control thing. <clears throat> now, the chariot, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of, succe of success by others. <clears throat> Now, seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. Nine, nine of Ariel, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. This is the reason why you are being so cut off and dry. Not just to the one who loves you or to the one that, that you love, but also to other people who wants to spend time with you. There's nothing wrong in being ambitious and, um, you know, pulling yourself up 
from your current situation right now but sometimes you also need to stop and smell the flowers all right that's it for you for this week cancer and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video call just go and visit me at my website it's a and bless you